Five Little Puppies by Sharon Crisco Art by Viviana Garofoli Five Little Puppies Running to the Door One leaves with Emily. Now there are four. Four little puppies gather round the tree. One leaves with Gabriel. Now there are three. Three little puppies chewing on a shoe. One leaves with Aaliyah. Now there are two. Two little puppies playing in the sun. One leaves with Christopher. Now there is one. One little puppy gives a lonely yawn. In comes Sophia. Now they're all gone. Floppy Learns a Trick by John A. Foster Art by Sue King Leo was eager to play with his new puppy, Floppy. I have an idea, said Mom. Let's teach Floppy a new trick. Floppy's long, curly-haired ears sprang up when he heard his name. He wagged his tail and looked up at Leo. What can we use to teach Floppy how to catch? asked Mom. We can use a marble, said Leo. A marble is too small, replied Mom. We can use a soccer ball, said Leo. A soccer ball will be too big, said Mom. We can use a tennis ball, said Leo. That's a great idea, said Mom. When I throw the tennis ball, you run and catch it. Floppy will watch you and learn the trick. So Leo ran inside to get a tennis ball. When he came back out, Mom threw the ball high into the air. Leo ran as fast as he could and caught the ball while Floppy watched. Then it was Floppy's turn. Leo threw the ball and cried, Run, Floppy! Catch the ball! And Floppy did. A Good Day for Sharing by Marilyn Kratz Art by Gareth Lucas Paulina Rabbit's basket was filled with spinach, apples, chestnuts, and a big pumpkin. As she headed home, she met her friends along the way. Hi, Paulina, said Henry Mouse. I see you bought some spinach. When I shopped at the market, it was already gone. You may have mine, said Paulina. Wow, thanks said Henry. My family loves apples, said Greta Squirrel, but I forgot to buy them. Please take these, Paulina said. Why, thank you, said Greta. And I was going to roast chestnuts, said Ralph Beaver, but I don't have any. I do, said Paulina. Please take mine. That's very kind of you, said Ralph with a smile. After her friends left, Paulina looked in her basket and said, I can still make a pumpkin pie. While Paulina was making the pumpkin pie, her friends came to visit. I've made a big spinach salad, said Henry. Do you want to have dinner with me? My family wants to share our applesauce with you, said Greta. And I made roasted chestnuts for all of us, said Ralph. Why, thank you, said Paulina. Why don't you come for dinner tonight? 
With all you'll bring and my pie, there will be plenty for everyone. It's a good day for sharing, said Paulina, smiling. Going Downtown by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Catherine Mitter. Dad and Maya rode the bus downtown. Maya wondered where they were going. She asked, Where are we going? We're going to visit someone, said Dad. Maya asked, Who is it? It's someone special, said Dad. They got off the bus in front of a tall building. Maya asked, Are we going here? Yes, said Dad. As they rode the elevator, Maya counted the floors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ding! The elevator doors opened. Someone special was waiting for them. Maya cried, Mom, it's your office. Mom smiled. How do you like the view? Grace Says Hello by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Ian Hoven. Grace was going to the zoo for the first time. She wanted to say hello to every animal. I don't know, said Dad. It's a big place. Are you sure? asked Mom. Every animal? Yes, said Grace. First, they watched a giraffe eating leaves from a tree. He sure is tall said Dad. Grace called out, Hello, giraffe! They walked up a hill to the lion's den. He was busy licking his paws. Grace said, Hello, lion! A tiger was asleep in the den next door. Grace whispered, Hello, tiger! Next, they came to a cage with colorful parrots. Grace moved close to one bird and said, Hello, parrot! The parrot squawked back, Hello! Grace said hello to more animals until Mom sat down and said, I can't walk anymore. Just then, Grace spotted the minibus. Look! She cried. Good idea, Grace, said Mom. Let's hop on. As they rode around the zoo, Grace said hello to all the animals. Hello, animals! Greenfoot Gus by Diana Murray. Art by Jennifer A. Bell. Greenfoot Gus went off to school, went off to school one day. He couldn't wait to read and write, to count and paint and play. Dum dum dido, it's off I go. I'm off to school, he sang. But by the time he got to school, ding dong, the last bell rang. Dum dum dee dee. That won't stop me, sang little Greenfoot Gus. The next day, he went off to school. He rode there on the bus. <laughs>